Coach Coop, Coach Coop, Coach Coop, the Coach Coop Show. Coach Coop, Coach Coop, Coach Coop, the Coach Coop Show. Man, oh man, the intro gets me hyped every single time. Do you guys realize that we are two weeks away from the kickoff of the real season? Miami versus Miami of Ohio. If I don't see some hype and some people going crazy tonight, I swear I don't even know you guys. Yo, it's almost here. And tonight, yo, we got a good one tonight. Come on, Canes fans. You already know what time it is. It's game day, the ACC championship. Miami versus Florida State, the rematch at Bank of America Stadium, the battle of the 11 and 1s. That's right. Miami went 11 and 1 in the virtual season. Florida State went 11 and 1 in the virtual season, but these two teams faced off a mere 3 weeks ago, and the Seminoles got the best of the Canes 19 to 10. This is the rematch we wanted, the one we've been waiting for. We're going to find out who the number one virtual team is in the ACC tonight. Man, where's the energy? Where's it at? Yo! This is what it takes. Whoa, now, careful with the spam there, Henderson Ace. Careful with the spam, bro. Any of the cheerleaders that played defense for you last Saturday still alive and off the injured reserve? If so, are they playing tonight? Less than hype. You know what? We'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll address that here in uh, in just a moment. South Coast Kid coming in hot with the ten gifted, my man. Hey. You guys make sure that you thank my good friend South Coast Kane for those gifted Canes fan memberships coming in just in time because I'm pretty sure those gifted memberships last 30 days, which means that's going to run into the actual season, which means welcome to the fam. You got a you by your name. You got access to Canes fan member only emotes. Try them out. Give it a shot, man. And one of them went to a Florida State fan, Jorn. Jorn. Take those. That's a huge win, Jorn. One went to Briley, Canes Today, Scotty Digital, Robin Graham, Opto Kane, Jonathan Reed, Greatness Inspires Greatness, Garnet Gold and Glory. Yes! Yes! The Cajun Kane and that dude Bates. We got two Florida State fans in there, Jorn. My man, let's freaking go! How appropriate. How appropriate, man. That That's huge. Make sure that you guys thank Jorn for uh, those gifted memberships. That's big time. And we got to give a shout out also to my man, Chris Gaffney. Coming in top dono of the night with the big five. Uh, any of the cheerleaders that played defense for you last Saturday still alive and off the injured reserve? If so, are they playing tonight? That, sh that should be hype. I should have read that with more energy. <clears throat> Chris, I'm going to think about my response while I enter in your name atop the throne here. Uh, but for real, by the way, guys, it's good to see everybody here tonight. The epic, epic conclusion of the virtual season. This is the final 
virtual simulated game of the year. Miami versus Florida State in the ACC championship game. So sit back and enjoy tonight. And let's have a good time because this is literally the last one. Now there's going to be the Coop Plays version tomorrow, but the team that I coached didn't go 11-1. and one. So we, instead of playing in the conference championship tomorrow, uh, contain your laughter, okay? Look. We are playing in the in the um uh the the Gasparilla Bowl. We're playing against the Florida Gators in Tampa in the Gasparilla Bowl tomorrow in the Coop Plays version. Uh, so that's what'll be happening for us. It it wouldn't make sense for me to do Coop Plays ACC Championship game because my team went seven and five. Uh, so like that doesn't make sense. We're not going to the ACC championship with a seven and five record, you know. So that's what'll be happening tomorrow. But tonight is the final virtual simulated CPU versus CPU game. These are the most hype. These get the most attention. So let's enjoy tonight, guys. Let's freaking enjoy it. And I know uh, no virtual New Year's Bowl game. The problem, Robert, I wish that I could continue it on. You know, maybe the virtual Canes could make a playoff run. 11-1 if they were to be victorious tonight. However, the season is too close. We literally kick off against Miami of Ohio in two weeks. And I want to catch up just real quick while everybody finds their virtual seats. We're kicking off in five minutes or less. I appreciate you guys being patient. I just want to address some things going into the season this year for just a moment because a lot of people are going to be asking, Coop, you said nonstop content. You didn't post a single video this week. You're right. Uh, I did not post anything. And it's because I'm working on so much behind-the-scenes stuff, I literally didn't even have time to breathe. There's, there's no way that I could have posted a video this week. And what I'll do is I will show you guys a little preview. And by preview, I mean a picture. No video clip. We're, we're not spoiling anything. All right. The disc track for this season is complete. We are dissing Miami of Ohio week one. That's right. And this took about three weeks from initial writing of the disc track to uh, recording the vocals, going in, mixing and mastering it, and recording the music video, which happened this week, which is why there was no content this week because I'm working on super hype, crazy stuff that's going to go down during the season. I will show you guys a picture, but this is super top secret. Are you ready? We're only going to show it for a few seconds. Are y'all ready? I'm going to show you a pic, and then that's it. Here we go. Here we go. That's going to be all you get. Hold on. Let me turn these off so you can see it. That's it. You get to see a picture. No clips. But this is releasing next Friday. Next Friday, the real Miami. This in Miami of Ohio. This is what it takes. It's gonna be fun. To to it's gonna be fun, I think. I dig it. I think helmet. it turned out good. Hello from work. The co OC will be back tomorrow. <laughs> Melissa! Coming in with the dollar ninety nine. Melissa, I know you said you had to do the, the dirty W word today. Unfortunate, but understandable. You know, we all got bills to pay. But I'm very happy and thankful to know that my co OC will be in the building tomorrow when we take on the Florida Gators. I'm pretty hyped for that one, too. I think we can end on a high note tomorrow. Melissa, thank you for the $1.99. I appreciate that. Uh, now, let's catch up on everybody who was here bright and early for the stream, and then we are kicking this thing off. Uh, Wheels941, I appreciate you for watching, bro. Coop, found your videos not long ago. Even though you're a Canes fan, uh, so I, that is correct. I root for the greatest team in the history of college football. You're correct, Wheels. I find your videos very entertaining, even though we're rivals. We can agree. Football coming back in 14 days is amazing. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. At the end of the day, we're all college football fans. We're all hyped and excited that it's finally back. You know, no matter what team you root for, that's something that we can definitely all agree on. And that just straight up, man, straight up. 
Let's get some shout outs here right quick. Forza813. What's up, man? The big anticipated rematch. Randy, it's good to see you in the building. Arthur Young. Let's go. Good to see you, Arthur. We know South Coast Kane was in the building. He's handing out Kane's fan memberships. Love to see it. Salty Ran. What's up? We got Nick Snyder. Who doesn't practice to the war chant? Great hype track. Yeah, if you like throwing up at practice. Projectile vomiting everywhere. The whole time. No, never. Uh, Chris Gaffney, what's up? We know Chris is in the building. Who else we got? I'm looking, I'm looking. We got Phil Romano. Let's go, Phil. Good to see you. Mr. Overdose 101. Uh, we got Brian Humphrey. Brian, what's up, man? Good to see you. So we got Cypher in the building. We got Henderson Ace Government. Shane, Palm Beach Kane, what's up? I knew you wouldn't miss this, bro. I knew you wouldn't miss this one. Uh, Space Mountain, can both teams lose? Uh, it depends on how much I rigged it. You know, I rigged it to where Miami would win by at least 150 points tonight. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Adam Sadowski, what's up? We got Canes today. Bryce W. Phil B. We got to see some representation. Where are the Florida State fans at? If you're a Florida State fan, put a one in the chat right now. Literally drop it right now. A number one if you're a Florida State fan. Michael Becker. It's good to see you, man. What's up, Canes fam? How's it going, Coop? Going good, man. Just busy beyond belief. So busy. Phone calls, messages, recording videos. I, I literally worked on recording a video before this stream, got 25% of the way through editing it, went live. As soon as this stream ends, I'm going back to editing again. So the, the content will ramp back up starting tomorrow now that the diss track is out of the way. That took up a lot of my time. A whole lot of my time. Johnny Blaze, what's up? Good to see you, bro. Ben Pratt in the building. Heck yeah, man. We got, we got some OGs in here. Frogman139. Uh, Noel Squad, there we go. Somebody representing Florida State. You guys got to rep your squad in here, man. I'm looking for y'all. We got Thomas Carter in the building. I think that I might have saw. I might have saw Willow in here. Is that Willow? Hey, Willow. We got the fam in the building. We got Mama Coop in the building. We got Doc in the building. Let's go. All right, blanket thank yous to everybody who's here. Scotty Digital, King, Kane's Life 2, all you guys. Robert, Robert, Buddy, everybody, all right? Fuzzy Bunny, all y'all. Hey, yo! Everybody, man, I appreciate you guys being here. Don't think that I skipped out on any of you on purpose. Uh, it's just there, there's a lot of people in the building, and we, we got some business to take care of, you know? We do. What's up, Marquis? <laughs> So, uh, man, I'm pumped. I'm excited for tonight. I'm trying to think if there are any more announcements. Uh, she is here. <laughs> Hello. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, tomorrow will be, I will be posting my final full season prediction. The official one. My final official full season prediction. That video will go up tomorrow afternoon, evening sometime uh i'm gonna be at a tattoo convention so it'll go up while i'm over there and then tomorrow night we'll do the coop plays version like i said miami versus florida gators in the gasparilla bowl and uh yeah it's grind time baby it's 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 time to get crazy it's time to get wild and we're gonna have a good time this season regardless of what happens during the season with the miami hurricanes we're going to have a good time right here you know what i'm saying we're going to have an absolute blast. This is going to be an unforgettable season for us here on the Coach Coop channel. Uh, final and official. Yes. Final and official. 100%. What's up, Russell? It's good to see you, man. So, I mean, sh should we small talk some more? Or have you guys got your popcorn and your pizza and your wings and you're, you're in your seats ready to go? It looks like, bro, it looks like a sold out crowd. It has been a hot minute since there was this much on the line in a Miami versus Florida State game. 
the conference championship, a divisionless ACC. Ooh, man. I just, I, I don't know, man. I just don't know if, if, if there is enough hype in the building. Like, I'm, I'm going to start it up anyways. But, yo, ACC championship, Miami, Florida State. Tomorrow, Coop plays Miami versus Florida Gators. Kickoff of the first game of the season, two weeks away. Yo! And, and, for Canes fan members, there is a new fours up emote. Just so you guys know. So when we hit the fourth quarter, there is a new emote for Canes fan members that you guys can spam. It's been the most requested emote on the channel. There it is, Bryce. Try it out. Everybody try it out. If I see enough fours, we'll kick this thing off. Try it out. Yo, there it is. It's going to look good when we go into the fourth quarter up 35 against Florida State. Yo, it's going to look good. Yo, that was Hoodie Girl's idea. It was. Uh, the halfback pass last week was the most beautiful play I've ever seen. Don't talk to me about that, Nick. We don't talk about that play. I don't know what you're what you're speaking of. So, again, keep in mind, guys, this is the ACC championship game. Obviously, it won't say Clemson in the end zone when we actually play it. This is in Bank of America Stadium in North Carolina. I think this is the Panthers Stadium. This is the one that I went to back in 2017 was at Bank of America Stadium. So CPU versus CPU, the final thing I need, and I know I'm asking a lot from you guys tonight. I really am. Let me see those score predictions as this thing is loading up. Be real! Go with what your heart tells you. Come on! Let me see you! Let's see them. Be honest. Come on. If, if Now, remember, okay, here you can see it. They got Florida State's pretty stacked in the game. Let's be real. They are. Also, remember that Miami lost three weeks ago to Florida State 19-10. to This is a literal rematch. We done, we done lost to this team. But can we get revenge tonight? 19-10 to was the last matchup. What's up, Judge Juno? It's good to see you, man. I always recognize that profile pic. It just jumps out at me. Hey, Matthew Welch, I appreciate you, man. Don't get in trouble. If you do, let me know. I'll write you a work excuse. I'll tell him. Yo, Matthew, I'll say he was watching a Coach Coop stream. I appreciate you jumping in. All right, so it is very heavily leaning towards the canes even duck yo even duck 24 to 17 miami 24 to 17 fsu for robert 31 28 canes for michael canes live 2 21 17 canes marquee canes charles canes shane canes 31 28 wide right five over snap 27 24 miami Seagram, 37-34 Miami. 16-9 Miami. 38-28 FSU. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 38-35. Wide right Miami. What's up, Doug? 24-21 Miami. 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 Florida State. Okay. All right. Let's get it. Andy with... Oh, boy, man. Wouldn't that be hype? Palm Beach Kane. Let's go. Here we go. Enough small talk, bro. Come on. Did Florida State just elect to receive? Did Florida State just win the... Wow. Yo! The disrespect. Yo! Okay. All right. 
CPU versus CPU, Heisman, J Kit sliders, Florida State winning the coin toss, electing to receive. Let's get it. I control Miami the kickoff here, but then it's the hands off the controller so for the new people. There it is. It's time, y'all. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Let's go. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's go. All right, you get it. So here comes you the, the field for the field. Let's time see you today. put some points on the board. Let's go. Okay, easy pitch and catch here for uh, JT. First and ten. Ball on the 37 yard And please, let's trash talk tonight, guys. Keep it about football. You don't have to make it personal, but let's have fun. With a quick throw. Stays in bounds. I do not like that man right there, though. Let me tell you something. I do not like that guy right there. Coleman. Nice game for the offense. Not a fan. Uh, not a fan at all. Florida State already at midfield. Yeah, Nick, we don't talk about that, the incident. That's what we call it. We don't talk about that. Hey, it's good to see you, T. Davis. I saw you here early. He airs it out. Ooh. Ooh, he went for the one-hander. Second down, 10 to go. And he almost got it. He had two canes beat. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Dang, bro. He's got it with room to run. Okay. Florida State coming out swinging. We expected this. Honestly, I thought he had it. T. Davis, I really thought he did. When he changed that protection, if he would have got both hands on the ball right coming, there, he probably would have come down with it. Come on, let's go. Just because they're driving doesn't mean we can't get them to turn the ball over. Hold them to a field goal. Something. Good stop. Good play right there. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Benson had nowhere to go. I mean, you're right, Nick. You're go. not wrong. Ball on the 25 yard line. <laughs> Chris. Oh, Chris. Yo, that was right. Let's go. To what are you? I'm sorry. Don't you guys laugh at that? Keep your hands off the controller. Stop playing defense. And PLZ, keep your hands where we can see them. If you LOL that, you're banned. Perma banned for life. Short, short, short! And they make the stop at the 11-yard line. Bro, are we that slow? Chris, thank you for the $5 dono. <laughs> First down, 10 yards to go. Hands up. On the 11. All right, Keldon's banned. Uh, Jorn is banned. Henderson Ace is banned. Complete brought down. Come on. Do Hold them to a field goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Hands up, Chris. Hands where I can see them. There we go. All right, huge away. third down here, Canes fans. Let's go. I'm going to spam this for this third drive, okay? Defense! Defense! I know there's some Miami fans Defense! at Bank of America Defense! Stadium. Yeah, they 
saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. Quick, someone give me some money to the, give to the refs. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Florida State up six. And he hits the PAT. So a 10 play, 75 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Right, I, Chris, I thought he didn't have control of, of the ball all the way through. Like, I, I, I thought he juggled it a bit. I'm just saying. We have an opportunity to answer here, though. I mean,. Look, He's real talk 20. here for a second. Makes it to Let's set our Canes prime to the side. Florida State had the Third balls to say, we won the coin toss, give us the ball because we're putting up points. Sure, and they right. did just that. This week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called So are we going to get punched in the mouth and are we going to run home crying to mama? Or are we going to punch back? And to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. That makes it second and ten. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. There's nothing I can do to change that, Nick, unfortunately. You got to think, even though it has updated rosters, I can't take Maryland out of the ACC on the graphics. So, unfortunately, you just have to ignore it. Just pretend it's not there. Because this game is a decade old. He goes out of what an ugly drive. What an absolutely disgusting, horrible... Uh, cover my ears. I don't even want to hear this. Uh, no! No! It just ran to come back out Let's there. go! Big, big play by the coverage team. And while they are behind... No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. Uh-uh. Don't you dare. After review the play, Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down. Shut up, bitch! But they got it right this time. Hmm. There you go. Make them pay. Make them pay for it. Okay, so I see what kind of game this is going to be. It's a 2v1. It is what it is. Tolupa! What's up, man? Good to see you, bro. This is what it takes. Excellent video you posted what you? with the interview, man. Love you, dog. Kobe! Kobe, thank you for the 499, man. The 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 only guy in in the universe on planet Earth that can throw a mustard bottle further than me. He's a Georgia fan, but he's part of the college football family. Kobe, I appreciate you, bro. From the 40-yard line. Thank you for that. The only guy. Real talk. It ain't a joke either. This is what it takes to wear the you. Yo, come on now. Come on. Super obvious by those two ref calls. Co-op has it on realism set to max. <laughs> that realism slider. I pushed it to, I thought it only went to 100, but I pushed it to 110, nice Chris. To Thank you for another five, my man. Tony, what's up? Josh Gad is still coaching the offense. Bro, what was that first drive? Like, and we can't get anything to go our way, right? They review the catch for Florida State. Gains his way to the 20 yard line. I mean, he, his feet were in, but did he have possession of the ball? Did he have control? You know? 
then on the punt. Rule the fumble on the field, and they reverse it. And now, next thing you know, we're, we're down 14 to nothing. Like, hello? Is anyone home? Wake up! converts the extra point it was a seven play 56 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff he really got a hold of that kick you know i'd really i'd really like to enjoy tonight because this is the final um uh, virtual it's season game blowout, like unless they do something again here, i know i play tomorrow for the coop plays version but i'm talking about cpu versus cpu the one that is letting the stats do the talking without my skills playing a part and he are we that away. rattled even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if yo we've played this team the before pocket, the quarterback is going to have a is the stage too the big i'm not having a good the time riley five yard line it's second down Okay, third and one. Let's go, Dawson. Dawson, let's go. Parrish a little slow to get up. Hand it off to Fletcher. Let that man bulldoze through. Okay, it's not. We're sticking with Parrish here. Come on. And he's taking down at about the 33 yard line. Who? What? I mean, I mean, hold, hold on, hold on. Cohen, look at this. Well, keep your eyes on number 70 right here. This is what All right. Take. So TVD, TVD is making a read here. I'm sorry, your helmet. Decides Fear, to give it to Parrish, bacon, which BFSU. is, which Raising is the right call. Dark skin tone. Beer, bacon, beat FSC. <laughs> I got you, Chalupa. Hold up, hold up. Now watch Cohen. Right here. Block. Block, bro. Block. Literally, we need one yard. Cohen, block. The deep man awaiting oh, the return. No. Oh no. I don't like that. Douglas takes it to 28, heading for the corner. Chalupa Batman! Chalupa. So Thank you for the four ninety nine, well, man. Game plan. He talked with you and I about how he felt like they could exploit some. You know we appreciate the love. See, Beer, bacon, beat well. FSU. Chalupa, we need more of all of it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not superstitious, Chalupa, but maybe try something a little different. Like I, I don't know. Like flip the bacon differently. Put it in the different pan. Do a different little dance. Hold your tongue a different way while you're cooking it. Something. He's going left. Thank goodness he dropped it. The defense got some pressure and forced I appreciate the, the love, Chalupa. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Come on, baby. Short. Let's go. Got a man complete. Let's hard. go. Florida State got a punt. We that take that. Reception. We take that. We're coming after it, too. Yo, we're bringing the house. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. No, we backed out. That's fine. Steve, what's up? Good to see you, man. 904 Hurricane said, walking around the grocery store listening to the live stream, and everyone keeps asking what game I'm watching. If they can maintain the energy and the Yo, tell them to the subscribe to the Coach Coop channel. That they could shut this offense out. Just getting spanked, Coop. How about you? This is embarrassing so far. Like, yo, we have nine yards of offense. He fires. Good job. He 
Good job, X. So they pick up quite a few yards. What's up, Trump and Gal? That was an excellent route, and he did a great uh, job you know, holding you, on to the football. You, you missed a whole lot of stuff you probably didn't want to see, so don't feel bad. You're here now to witness the comeback. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. Right, right, Chalupa. Give him some easy throws. Warm him up a bit. There you go. There we go. There we go. Let's go. 14 to nothing is not a mountain that we can't climb. It's like deja vu. Oh, my goodness. Right? We're all right. Woo! You got to catch that, Arroyo. You got to come down with that. Tyler putting his body on the line right there, knowing he's going to get hit. And he hits you in the chest, and, and you, you can't come down with it. That's on Arroyo right there. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. That's, out, that's, that's out. the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to he didn't come down with that. I mean, oh, wait a minute. Really up to their defense to try to help them out. Wait a second. First and ten. Uh, he Ball did. On their own he gets rid of this one. Okay, guys, we're we're gonna have to start praying. I think. All freaking day, bro. All day. Would you say Chalupa was asking about the race? Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. I missed it. If you guys are asking about how I'm preparing for the race against Le Lance Leggett, I don't need any preparation. Lance Leggett is washed up and he's an old man. And down he goes. I don't need to prep. I'm naturally faster than him at this point in his life. The effort there by your tailback. Like back then when he played for Miami and for the Cleveland Browns, of course I'm not faster. But now I am. So uh, no training required. It's just 40 yards. Yeah, the stance is still elite, Chalupa. Absolutely. He's not going to know what hit him. He's all talk. Yeah, good play right there, Tropical. From the 35-yard line. Hey, it's good to see you, Javier. Come on, D. How? Literally, how does this man pick the ball out of the air like that? Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a. It's like a freaking magnet. Yo! Big hit. Huge play. No. That's a big boy play right there. Probably just give it to my halfback and let him put his head down and try to get the first. Come on. Come on, y'all. He can miss. The kick is up. Okay. Okay. 17 nothing in the first quarter. That's a tough pill to swallow. I get it. I get it, but we held them to three there. We gotta, we gotta turn things around right here. This, this is the money drive, and I hate to say it, starting with 13 seconds left in the first quarter, but it's the truth. Smith fields it at the two. It's just it. He gets out to about the 22 okay. Boy, they're playing dirty. They're playing dirty down there. You ready for next week? Oh yeah. Hoop, are you calling him Lance Legless? That's a good one. I need to remember that one. Yo, someone get open. Gets rid of it quickly. There ain't no freaking way, bro. There ain't no way. I'm starting to get the sense that this guy's feeling the pressure. <laughs> there ain't. There, uh, uh, he has to realize no. he's only making it worse. He was out. No. Review the play. Challenge it. Review it. 
And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's it for one, and we might have the upset of the week on our hands. Florida State's lead is 17. I don't even know, guys. I'm out. I'm... And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. <clears throat> and a quick throw. Oh, boy. We're getting frustrated in the, 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 the start of the second quarter. This is not a good sign. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They come out in a five-wide set. Wait. Holy smokes, guys. Around the seven-yard line. I know, E.D., right? Goes all the way across his body to the other side of the field. Like, what do you expect? Somebody pick that. Tropic Kid played in you in band. You sent me a pick. Right, Tropic Gal? Seven yards for the touchdown. I'm pretty sure you texted me a pick. I'm sorry you help me. This is too similar to watching Coop play on Saturdays. Co-op keep controller out of your hands. Thank Chris, I can't believe I'm saying this, okay? First off, thank you for another five. Chris just going ham. Finally, we get hands on JT there. I'm I am thankful that I'm playing the Gators tomorrow instead of Florida State. And I can't believe I'm saying that. He passes it. Incomplete. Almost Ham. Ham. I get we hold him to another field goal here. But really, we need them to walk away with zero points. It's up. And they tack on three points. Because they, Florida State scored 19 three weeks ago against the Canes. And right now, Florida State's at 20 in the second quarter. Fitzgerald gets set to kick this one away. <laughs> yeah, Nick. All of that one. <laughs> yeah. Good one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. What's up, Steve? Bench TVD. Look, I'm not necessarily surprised by this. Bro, shot. I, I, I want to complain about the defense, but honestly, look at what we're doing on offense. TVD has thrown two picks in the first freaking quarter. Like, uh, like, what are we doing? Like, bro. Looks left. Picked off. And they make the stop at the 27. Bench him. Put him on the bench. There's no freaking way. From the 27-yard line. First down. I'm waving the surrender flag, bro. Like Wide receiver screenplay. Put us out. End it. Yo. And for Travis, he's been responsible for three scoring passes. The quarterback is just having a great game so far. He's had absolutely no problem finding the end zone. Buckle up, y'all. We got, uh, we got, uh, basically three quarters to go because we're one minute into the second. And he adds the extra point. Sure there's not a bug or a glitch. <laughs> I wish that were the case. Florida State ready to kick this one off. Excellent. Nothing kick. has been changed from the matchup three weeks this ago down in the end zone other than I think the Shamar Kirk really worked his way up the depth chart a little for the Canes so and he's their star, the um, who was right it from Miami that transferred to Florida State, State that had his waiver coach, denied coordinator, quarterback uh, coach, I think that he was was benched otherwise nothing's different literally nothing find out if they can somehow get him going and the other thing to think about is maybe this is where the running backs maybe yeah jackson their week to take so jackson you won't see jackson on the field for florida state because you know that's a wonky situation and, and kirk worked his way up, up that's the literally the, the only changes 
That's it. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does. I feel you, Robert. Look. Screen, get upfield, please. Oh, my goodness gracious. Corey Gray. 36-month Canes fan membership. Skunk rolls, 21 to nothing. Cut the game off, Coop. <laughs> I'm here, rain or shine, man. Through the good, through the bad. I have sat in this stadium and witnessed Clemson absolutely destroy us. And it was like 30 degrees. If I got to sit here yeah, in this stadium space, virtually and, and witness a, a booty spanking, then so be it. I'm here. I appreciate the re-up on the membership, man. Thank you for that. King Dolph, I just, just turn around and pretend like you didn't see anything. Uh, Zane, you got your wisdom teeth out? Damn, bro, that's line. rough. I, uh, the little liquid diet you got to do after is not fun. I hope you heal up quick, bro. It's there. Look. People are talking about Coop changed this. Coop might have changed that. Bro, it's there. Maybe this is 2018. Restrepo broke his toe. We're done. Restrepo's out for the game with a broken toe. And he throws it away. It would happen in the ACC championship game too, wouldn't it? So while we have time to talk about other stuff, <laughs> what time will your live shows be once we hit the season? Right? Kirk taking over, man. He's trying to make something happen. Come on. We need some energy, bro. We need something. All right, Kirk finding a way to get some separation. Caught multiple big catches on that drive. Somebody needed to step up. Miami Looks like it's going to be Shamar off. Kirk. This can't be a one-man nice show. This team's got to come together. And now we need the defense to get a stop here. And it goes into the exactly. End zone, down for a we need now, we need to stop here, right? Week. Kirk they is the yak man. That that's at least what we've been told. We've yet to have. see it on the field, but that's because that we've not played a game today, yet. No so. so good. We're hoping, we're hoping. Chris, just close your eyes, bro. Shimmy Shamar. I like it. I like it. Even hit the half. Coop, are you Next sure you're not getting play? Are you sure you're not playing? What kind of game this will end up being? There are five wide receivers split out. Bro, we're just playing bad. Nice run up the middle. More than a stop, you need a catastrophic turnover. Listen, listen. Second and there's still time, Nick. Hey, there's still time. What's up, Edward? At least it isn't a shutout. Somebody put hands on him. There we go, James. There we go, James. Come on, third and one right here. I'm not doing the defense chant. Come on, D. Come on, please. Please. They'll spread the field with five wide. I almost thought if James, if James could have made a move a little bit quicker, he maybe could have picked that even. Nice little safe play there. That was a good play call. I can't even hate on it, bro. Workforce freebie. Re-upping that Kane Spam membership for two months. I appreciate that, bro. Make sure Mel is scouting and watching tape for tomorrow. Now, the only problem is tomorrow's not Florida State. Tomorrow for the Coop Place version, since I went seven and five, is the Gasparilla Bowl against the Gators. I didn't make the ACC championship game because I wasn't good enough. Scrambling around. It, it, it is what right it is. The 42 yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Oh, BS, bro. Really? So the offense will move a little bit closer. Oh, really? First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. 
a blatant virtual face mask. Oh, yeah, now they pick up a big game. Nine-yard run. Yeah, that's, uh, that is realistic. We tend to give up a big play after a tough penalty. Historically speaking. That, that, that is, uh, that's scary realistic there. And he's tackled after five it is. Tropical! Coming in, tying the top spot on the, on the board drive. with Chris Gaffney with the super sticker. Tropical, thank you for the love. I appreciate that. I will sit you atop your throne here in just a moment. Thank you for the... Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Oh, even the announcers are ripping in into us. The -yard line. Well, that's another Yo. first down, Brad. That's the fifth Even the announcers are giving us the business. This offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays. Oh, very, very man. consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. They'll bring him down at the 14 yard line. Get Tropical up here. Now, see, here's what I'm telling you guys. I realize this is virtual. The 14 yard line. Second down. You know, this is virtual. But my motto going into this season is I'm having fun on this channel no matter what happens during the season. I'm serious. Last year when we went 5-7, and seven, the frustrations just, you know, just bulled over the top and people were pissed and people were freaking out. And rightfully so. And we'll still do that. And we'll still vent and we'll still criticize if we struggle. But it was like, literally like, multiple opportunities we can't take advantage of we had uh should have been a pick that right there could have been a fumble potential scoop and score here and we can't capitalize on it how are we going to come back unless some of these things go our way but i'm going to make sure that we still have fun i hope you guys know what i mean this is what it takes unit here like we'll be frustrated and we'll complain but we're still going to have throw in holy water on the field come back alarm clock this is what it and took. the field goal is good. To where to you? I'm sorry, we'll help you. Uh, Doing the rain dance backwards. <laughs> Wash away the juju. Play something. Play something. They to kick this one away. Hey, yo! He just drills this one. Thank you for a dollar ninety-nine, my man. Do something, bro. This one's gonna please. Be in the end zone for a touchback. You guys he know I'm not superstitious, but I, I'm, I'm getting yeah, desperate here. There isn't a quarterback I, I'm, play, I'm definitely getting desperate here. Shoulder, Thank you for the dollar ninety nine, AO. Workforce freebie. So also trying to bring us some good vibes and juju. This Thank you for the two workforce. Rain dance. That's a new one. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. You still keeping the trash can close? I'll be honest, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to expect out of this season. It's another thing to have an idea I really don't. what you're doing and how to attack a defense. The D-line is really giving TVD trouble, that pass rush, man. I feel like that's what's getting to TVD in this game. From their own 28-yard line. O-line's really not giving him a lot of time here, and I feel like he's panicking a bit. It's a pretty big stage, conference championship. We've not been there since 2017. When he is hitting a rodeo, a rodeo is dropping it like he's scared to death, you know. Like, he's wrapped up for the sack. Melissa's at, at work, Tropical. She'll be here tomorrow. But uh, she had to work tonight. She stopped in earlier. Uh, Coop, do you have any intel on our new stadium? Will you have Ruiz on this year? So I'm just going to be honest. Joyce, I still like Ruiz. This I'm thankful what for takes. what he is doing and has done for Miami. I'm sorry, your helmet. Hold that thought. Miami, oh, 
can't get here soon enough. I feel you. I feel you. Hold on. We'll catch up. But that stuff is definitely going to be on hold for a bit because Ruiz, whether people want to confirm or deny some different financial and legal issues and things like that, there are still rumblings and things going on that he must address. So as you've probably already seen, when it comes to NIL stuff, Kane's connection is kind of taking over. And they've had something in place and been prepared for it. So Ruiz is going to be busy, slammed with other things. Even if the stadium really did happen, we're talking five, we're talking five, ten, fifteen plus years before anything would ever come of that. Massive project, right? Screen, screen, screen. Passes it to the middle of the field. So right now, everything would would definitely be on hold, for sure. Just being straight up and blunt with you. Norman Fujioka! Norman still showing some love through the beat down. Yo, come on. He's tackled at the 36 yard line. About eight yards there. Norman, thank you for the $10 top down, Norman, man. I agree. Miami of Ohio, some real ball. Virtual season has been fun, but it's definitely time for the real deal, right? I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, I would say 10, 15 years. And again, it, that would be a massive project. Not saying that, that it won't happen. But it would be a long time, for sure. Norman, I always have trouble spelling that last name. I freaking love it, though. That's a, that's a sick last name. I don't know anyone else with that last name. Very unique. Makes the grab past the of course marker. they convert it. He's tackled in the of course they field. do. They're going to walk away with points here going into the half. We've Probably either ten. way. Ball on the -yard we received to start the second they come half. Out an empty backfield. How's he get zero yards in the first down? Paid off refs. And down he goes. That's how. Around the 27 -yard line. The short effective pass yeah, yeah, the yeah. Confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much money did you give him tonight, Briley? Fess up. Finally! And he's going to come up with Finally. a second. $3. <laughs> Dogecoin. Uh-oh, somebody's glitching out. Oh, man, he, he needs some Gatorade. Get that guy some Gatorade. Uh-oh, it bugged. There's nothing I can do about it, guys. I think it bugged one of the Florida State players. Look, my hands are off. Right? You got, we got to take what we can get. Bro, it thinks he's not set. I think that it thinks he's not set because he's... he's the play clock's at double zero. Yeah. They just took too long. That's payback. That's that. That's what y'all get. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yeah. yards to pick up for the first yeah. down. Yeah, third and even longer. About time. After the penalty. Hey, hey, now watch Jordan Travis sling it for a touchdown. I'll be pissed. He sails this it is what it takes. Drops Woo! it to a you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm dreaming. That's what it is. This is a nightmare. Miss. Miss. Miss, miss. He gets it up. And he didn't Let's get go. It. It Let's go. Short. And watch out because they can return this. Okay. Brought okay, down okay. 17 okay. yard line. Flag <laughs> down. And I'm not sure this when it was wild. thrown. Let's find out. <laughs> what a wild freaking game, bro. Yo. That penalty is declined. First half is over, and this is why they play the game. What is going seven. on? No free play. That's depressing. Glad to have you with All right, guys, studio. we got for some uh, some chatting to do NCAA here for just a moment. Show presented by Once the Nissan, Nissan Halftime Show is finished up here, you guys go check Reed out uh, Nissan, get you a new car, you know. On that first half. Exciting first half there. I've heard like Ultima's a pretty fire. Around, there was another big play. Both of these offenses 
coming up with yards and chunks, and it, it's really paid off for them in the first. Maybe they, yeah, maybe and, they uh, believe in their kicker this year. You know, maybe he's good from 60 at practice. Drives, but they thought really he had a shot. I don't, really yeah, nice I don't know. Simple and say, all right, we're going to get about 50 right here. We're gonna get about we do not. Right here. <laughs> the offense came simple. Negative uh, eight rushing job. yards. Bro, right time of possession. You know, spinning off players, three minutes making big, and making big gains. You know, listen, it makes offense very simple. There's no okay. secret to it. We got, got a lot of work to do. You know, you let's let, let's plays. let's not shy away from this. We got That's some work to do. I'm just about ready to start the second half. Gonna throw a frozen pizza in the oven, BRB. Uh, we'll definitely be here, Tropical. We will be here. I'm gonna catch up on the chat a little bit. Say a couple words. Uh, we'll do a, a right, prayer or maybe make a little seance circle or something. You know, whatever, whatever we need to figure out here to to turn this thing around. Randy! Randy coming in with the $2 dono. I'm dreaming. That's what this is. A nightmare. <laughs> Correct, Randy. Correct. We, we Let's all wake up from this nightmare. And, uh... Let's take care of business in the second half. All right. Appreciate the two, Randy. Thank you for the love, man. So, guys, I realize that for the Canes fans in the building, this is not the outcome you were hoping for in the first half of this ball game. but I do need you to keep something in mind. This is the final virtual simulated game of the season. It has been a wild ride, man. And this is the conclusion. So let's try our best to enjoy it. I know this is a tough pill to swallow, even virtually. But let's try to have a little fun tonight because, man, so much, so many memories were made in this virtual season. Am I right? Let real talk for a second. Set all this stuff to the side. I know it's hard to, even though it's just virtual. But we have made some really awesome memories this season. In my opinion, I'm a little biased. I think this has been the most entertaining, most fun virtual season yet. This was year four of doing this, four or five. And this has been the most fun I've had, period. I've been on YouTube for seven years. I've done this, I think, for four years. And I love every second of it, man. And I appreciate you guys being here for these things every single week during the off season. And again, tomorrow, one more quick reminder. I will be live doing the Coop Plays version. So I understand there's one more. There seems to be a lot of confusion about this. This is the final CPU virtual game. And then tomorrow is the final Coop Plays virtual game. And that'll be the Gasparilla Bowl, Miami versus the Florida Gators. So otherwise, thank y'all for the love so far. Norman, my man, owning the board with the $10 dono. But again, this is it, guys. The last virtual game of the season. CPU versus CPU. This is it, man. We need a, a Christmas miracle here. Okay. Excellent field position. Must take advantage of this. Absolutely must take advantage of this right here. Okay. I like that. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Good play right there to Harold. Let's get TVD's confidence back up in the second half here. I'm not going to lie, even if we start successfully the moving the ball, First I'm down. very worried about our defense. I'm just keeping it real. Drops. Wow. Whoa! We just, we can't consistently move the ball downfield. Like, why do we catch a case of the dropsies in the ACC championship? And they make the stop at about we can't the run the ball. Florida State's D-line just gobbles it up. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. What do you think would be a halftime speech? Uh, flipping over every table in the locker room. Going and deep, then, lays it out there. 
He almost had it, but it's incomplete. And then and going and finding more down. tables. Boy, great defense on that play. They're out somewhere the around the stadium, bringing them into the well locker room, and then flipping them too. There to break up the play. Douglas. We He's took a shot, man. The return. Maybe we can pin them deep. Nope. This punt bounces into the end zone. JB ain't coach these drops. You tell them, Randy. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Uh, come man, like that had to be. If we wanted some momentum, we had to score there. Good D right there. Him for a loss. Good D right there. Panita Michael Irvin speech. You ain't wrong, Tropical. Holy smokes. From their own 15 yard line. Come on, like, I wanted Second to at down. least be a game. You know what I'm saying? Like, for the final CPU versus CPU matchup, like, let's make this a game, bro. Okay. Okay. There's still a lot of time left if we can get a, if we can force a punt here. Come on. A quick three and out right here. Yo, let's go. Nice, nice. He drops it. Boy, that okay. hurts the offense to have to All go right. three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Joseph awaiting the return. It should be even better field position than the kickoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're at midfield, basically, bro. Joseph, we're past midfield. He makes it out to make this the has yard to line. be a touchdown. I cannot stress that enough. This must be a touchdown. I feel like we're practicing the for the away. real season. Like, these are the same things I'm going to be saying in the season. Oh, I hope position. not. Big hole there for Parrish. He's taken down at the 37. I hope not, bro. That brings that brings in second in the short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. I want to be practicing celebrating. Not practicing being upset. What's up, Christian? Pulls down the catch There's Kurt. Room here. There's the yak, man. Got to be a touchdown. Come on. Come on, Dawson. Let's go, TVD. Come on, it's go time. It's pass go time. It's red alert panic mode time. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Okay. Man, we'll take those. Those short to intermediate drill. throws, That's like the in the middle of the field. If it's there, it's there. Take those. It's second down. You think we're going to come back, Son of Fire? From the first down marker. <sighs> Clock's a ticking. That's for sure. Yeah, I like that play call. Love that play call. All right, let's pound the rock. Yo. TVD's been inconsistent tonight. That's an understatement. Let's run the ball a little bit here. We've ran the ball successfully on this drive. I know Florida State's got some big bodies on that D-line, but yo, let's get a push right here. Oh, no. And he can't get away from the pressure. Dawson, please, I'm begging you. What's up, Juice? It's good to see you in here, man. Uh, I was hoping. I mean, if anything, get the hand, get the ball in Parrish's hands and hope he makes a move and, and makes a play, right? Now we run it. Yeah, see, see, that bro, yo. I know I'm a couch coach, but if you hand that ball, you put Fletcher in on that second down play. Or first down play? The field with five wide. Why did I click the video? I don't know. Why did you, Mitchell? <laughs> Welcome in. You came in just in time to watch a Miami Hurricanes touchdown. touchdown go down to XR7, who's He's playing a with a broken toe, by the way.
My man out here playing with a broken toe. And he's in for two. And we're handing it off to Fletcher. I blinked and it was over. Miami and we pick up two. Away. Now that right there, Sends I think could be field. realistic this season. And what I mean by that is giving the ball to Fletcher in short yardage situations because that man is a literal human bulldozer. Miami's playing much better on the defensive side All right. of the ball here in the third quarter. Well, Brad, I think what I've seen is... It's working, yo, yo, more! Streamline their attack. I think it's made it a little bit easier for their players to understand... Inject it into the, the sprinkler, Ayo. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Shower the field! All right, we need a defense to step up right here big time. Big time. Who's going to make a play here? Let's see a pick. Let's create a fumble. Come on. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Because, again, that clock is ticking, bro. Like... If Florida State continues to pick up first downs, see, I mean, bro, this is killing us. This right here is killing us. Look at that lane for Benson. Like, like we got a little bit of momentum offensively. Come on! Oh, oh man. Falls I thought Kiko got that. Second Honestly, I thought he picked that. I thought he could have. Makes a grab and steps out right away. Well, if this defense keeps taking chances with these blitzes, well, they're sure they us may get to the heart. once in a while. But they also are giving up some big plays. Yo! Like that right there. This is what it takes. Come on, get off that, Mesador. You on the side of your head. Just showing support for you and the channel, bro. Be easy and go, Tigers. Yo, my man. My man. Black go team. I ain't gonna repeat that last those down. last two words. All right, my man, you know how you know how I feel about them tigers. All right, you know. Halfbacks got it on the quick throw. Making us, bro. It's it's the men versus the boys. It's the adults versus the children. Four touchdown passes. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here today with some pretty good throws, leading to some remarkable. Why do touchdowns. we even hit the white room? What? 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 What do we even work out for? My man, black goatee. That's that's a really cool way, though. I have to admit that you worked the username. That's actually pretty sick. I got to give you some credit for that one, man. Let me know, though. Are you excited for the season? Thank you for so, showing me some love. The big fat 20 taking over the top spot on the board. Appreciate that, man. I love it whenever you got fans of, you know, teams in here and stuff uh, that still watch these and hang out with the college football family. Like, that means the world to me, bro. Like, I'm serious. There are people that jump in here and watch these just because they want to show some love. They love talking college football, and that's so cool. That's right so now, cool because you don't see that much on YouTube. Have done an outstanding job of being able to make their you really don't. It, it's usually, if you cover Miami, it's Miami fans. You cover LSU, it's LSU fans. Around here, man, we got, we got fans of all sorts of teams in here. Thank you for the love, man. I hope you've been doing well. Just throws this one away. Yep, exactly, Nick. Florida State, it's pretty much all Florida State fans. In here, we got Alabama fans, Miami fans, Florida State, LSU, Georgia. We're all over the place. And I don't even cover those teams. Forcing it. Forcing it, man. We thought we had a little run going for a minute. 
We thought we did. The punting team's uh, got to give their Let me know how you've been, man. Let me know how you've been. What you thinking how the season's going to go? Much respect. Hey, shout out to you, my man. I appreciate you. How do you, real the talk, what, what, are you, what are you predicting for the season? I'm curious. Be honest. Be honest, all right? This is one of the biggest upsets I think we've seen all year. You know what's great? Maybe going to practice after this. Man, they ain't getting. This is in North Carolina. Bank of America Stadium. They're walking home. Real talk. Get to that quickly. Honestly, Florida State killed us tonight with their D line and Jordan Travis's accurate passing. Wide receivers got a lot of separation. Uh, they they're catching balls, and the D line got a lot of pressure on Tyler Van Dyke. I mean, that's been the story of this game. Nice run to the no excuses. I know it's what's going to be interesting, South Coast Kane, that Florida State LSU matchup. Nice run there. How's that going to go? Pick up a first down with that How are Florida State halfback? fans feeling Good about running it? And a strong push are you guys beating LSU or what? Defense. From the 28 yard line, it's first down. LSU's running out of DBs. Yeah, we're making bad reads nice now. Run up the middle. Yeah, now's when you're going to see even the virtual team going to be frustrated. Mental mistakes, guys trying too hard, bad position angles, all that mumbo jumbo. Broken tackles. We beat them by 14. We beat LSU by 10. FSU wins by two scores. Oh, I'll be watching that one because that game's on a Sunday, right? 100% I'll be I'll be peeping in on that one. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Okay, here we go. Let's see what he's got to say. Let's see what Black Goatee's got to say. Honestly, we can win the SEC West again. It's about execution. We have the talent and experience. If we execute to our ability, college football playoffs is well within reach. Oh, snap. All right. Tackle at the four. He kept it himself and picked up a good There's going to be a little down. bit of backlash, I'm going to be honest, with the Florida State the fans. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. Because they're saying they got LSU's number. It's going to be a crazy season, man. I'm and really pumped and excited. The line. The had a That's why I said real talk. I know I'm small talking a lot, but it's because we're down 37 to 15. Guys, it's seriously almost here. to block with one guy. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that. Oh, I had to put in the backup. It don't matter because uh, Florida State. Mr. Tofu runs all over us. He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10 yard line, this happens. How'd they only automatic. score 19 points on us three weeks ago? And he tacks on the extra point. Is Mike Norvell that good of a game planner? Toe fungus, tofu, whatever the heck his name is. Yeah, there was some good high school games. There were a lot of high school games on today. All right, Hail Mary every play. I don't even care. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just Still a heck of a virtual season. I agree, man. That's what I want the takeaway to be. Obviously, Florida State fans can celebrate their virtual ACC championship. But uh, I'm hoping that Kings fans, even though we're ending on a loss, had a good time, man. Real talk. Second down. A lot of work went go. into it this year. A lot 25. of work. Five wide. Send it. Throws in the middle, and down he goes at the 33. Okay, well, I realize they're not going to be hype ones, okay? So can we put some sad fours up in the chat? Because I added that new emote for Kane's fan members, 
And look, I know it ain't gonna be hype. Like, bro, we done lost. There ain't no guys. I'm sorry. 44 to 15, starting the fourth quarter. We're not coming back. If Canes fan members could put a four in there, good night, Coop. <laughs> People are peacing out. <laughs> Yo, come on. It's the final virtual game. Yo, you ain't gonna ride it out. I'm just playing. Do your thing, bro. Oh. Uh, do you keep up with other YouTubers? I try to, yeah. Uh, Power Hour LSU with Carter. The Power is a great channel. You guys should have each other's special guest one day soon. I'll check them out. I'll actually make note of that. Hold on. Where's my phone at? I'm going to take a pic of the chat with that guy's channel name in it. Because I'll be honest, I have not heard of, of that channel. I'm going to take a pic of it. I'll check him out, bro. I'll tell them you sent me. Yeah, I know. Them some sad fours up. Yeah, the crying. Uh, you guys getting creative. I love to see it. All right. All right. Now, I told you guys earlier, we're about to kick off the fourth quarter and wrap this thing up. I'm posting my official final full season prediction tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. I was real and brutally honest with how I'm feeling going into the season. Of course, everything on paper right now because we ain't played a game. Shout out to my man, Black Goatee. Top donator going into the fourth quarter. Let's go. Here's a blowout. Well, a nice stop there, and that looks good. Bro, he's open. Like, he's, he's literally open. Tyler time. Van Dyke, I know he felt the pressure tonight, but TVD did not play well. Joyce, it doesn't help that we couldn't successfully run the ball. You know, that put us, we, we became very one-dimensional. And we just... And now the ball is loose. Picks up the fumble. Too little, too late, but hey. Capitalize on this momentum shift and take some too little, too late, field. but send it! is huge, but as a player, you never want to send slow down it. your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Throws a bullet over the middle. He's tackled at the 36. Yeah, the defense looks a little What's going on, Kyle? They can do better than yeah, that. bro. From the 36 yard line. Yeah. First down. Welcome to the stream, Kyle. Imagine popping into this. Like, Im imagine. Brought down at about the 27 yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early Coop, down. would love to see a day before UN prediction with you and Dono. Yeah, we could try to get something worked out. Uh, you know, you I did I made that appearance on Dono's channel on Locked On Canes a few weeks ago, and he's a hundred percent down to jump on mine. Uh, I'd love to have Chalupa on my channel, Alex Dono, Coach Hayes, T Two Y, and we'll do a lot of collabing this year. Yeah, we'll do lots of guest appearances and. We'll have a good time, man. That's what I kept trying to tell people, Robert. I was like, whatever's happening in the season, we are going to have a good time on this channel. What is this tomfoolery? Uh, it's called getting our booties spanked. No answers, period. Like, this is a pity score, I feel like. This is a pity touchdown. Coop had the sliders on ESPN. They know they hate us. Oh, boy, Briley. Oh, boy. Hey, enjoy your virtual ACC championship, all right? You know we'd be talking mad trash if we won it. I know I would be. Too late. Like, Tyler just does not look very poised out there. Like, he's... It's like he's playing in slow motion. Is this Miami playing or Maryland? Ay, ay, ay. I just, I can't believe that we held Florida State to 19 points three weeks ago, and now they pop off 44. Now, again, people are going to argue, even though it's a virtual game, I get it. But people are going to argue, you know, 
consistency. But the thing is, is much better job of being able to read sometimes college football, you know, isn't consistent. Like when the defense starts, we've talked about it. A team can beat a top 10 opponent one week and lose to an unranked team the next week, you know. There's a strike complete. A Ray Ray siding just outside the five minutes left. Guess I better get the DJ warmed up. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Oh, snap. TVD throws just like me using my left arm. Oh. Like, put Fletcher in the game right here and give him the ball. Like, Fle Fletcher picks that up. I know it's the virtual Mario Cristobal, but yo. Play number 10 on the drive. One yard to go. Give Fletcher the ball. He scores. Like, we're... I mean, I'll take it, but you, you feel, you know what I'm saying? Touchdown, Miami! He's been letting it fly today. His receivers are making plays. Don't use up. Don't use up. The referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. That's a touchdown. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Okay, I, well, I was about to say. So call on the field stands. Hey, I appreciate you, Nathan. We're doing, I don't know why we don't still just go for two again. Whatever. Uh, I told people at the beginning, Nathan, um, we're, we're, I'm going to put out a video letting people know. Oh, we're going for onside. Okay. Come on, Andy. Okay. Easy pickup for Florida State. Tackle made at the 46 yard line. Flag Flag's on the play. probably on Let's us. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clip it. Oh, okay. All right. But uh, I'm going to put out a little PSA video on the channel. I know there won't be That's a ton of people that watch it, but basically just kind of outline or outlining that what really I want it to do on the, the channel this around. season. And the goal here. is going the to be not necessarily quantity over control. quality, These guys need to but I want to be live or posting a video Inside basically every day. We're going the off this year. We are going to have a good time. From their own 39 yard line. It's going to be a lot of fun. And like down. I said, regardless of what's happening on the field, we're always going to be live talking about it, posting videos consistently and constantly. It's going to be fun. And we're kicking it off with the Miami of Ohio district. He's down. So what a way to kick off the season, right? We always have my support, Coop. I appreciate you guys, for real. You guys are the real ones. The way I try to repay you is with, with fun content. Just so you know. That, that's my way to say thank you. Funny content, good, high-quality content. But the problem is, is I cut a lot of my videos. I don't know if you guys realize that. There's so many videos that I record, edit, and then don't post them because I think they're not... They don't meet my quality standards. I'm not going to do that this year. Fields the punt at the 16, and he's taken down. That's why I said we're not going for quantity over quality. But I need the to post more. To punch it in the end zone like that last I'm going to stop cutting those videos that I think don't the make the cut and just throw the them up there. So good the Let's have some fun. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come in. Hey, I appreciate you, Charlie Gal. I, and it's the thing. I'm not saying these things to try to look for Second pats on the back or anything. It's 25. just I want you guys to be ready to have some fun, man. Steps up in the pocket. He's not all that for one yard. Right around the 26 yard line. Just send it, bro. Just, just air it out. Oh, we throw a screen. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle we have right officially given up. I mean, we really we gave up in the first quarter, but. So they're gonna go. Oh, for cover your ears, guys. Hey. And he is drilled at the 21-yard line. Great stand by the defense. Boy, that's appropriate, isn't it? 
If that doesn't sum up this game, then I don't know what what does. I don't want to see a 50 burger. Let Norvell hyping his guys up. The offense back out onto the field as uh, we get Appreciate you guys enduring the pain with me. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. You know, we don't have nice to go through these things alone. That's what it was like last year. Remember? Or did you guys try to remove it from the memory like I did? We got to be there for each other. Less than three minutes in the game. Last year was pain and suffering, but at least we had other Canes fans to, you know, to try to get through it with each other. I can't imagine going through a five and seven season alone. Crying myself to sleep every night. Questioning everything. Pain and suffering. Oh. Quick out to his receiver. Touchdown, Seminole. I do not like that guy. I don't know if I told you guys that. I'm not a fan of that dude. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two play. Yeah, I saw that, Delgado. That's pretty cool. You Florida missed the last State game when it was close. Uh, was it in Miami? No, it was at Dope Campbell. And he got all of this one. Great kick. It was 19 to 10 three weeks ago. But I mean, it's ACC championship game. You know, there's there's a lot more at stake here. I mean, Florida State's 11 and one going into this game. Same as Miami. I went through and simmed their games just to kind of see what you know what their record would be going into this. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. JT 28 of 39 with five touchdowns. Uh, that's From their own that's some yard impressive line. stats. Makes me sick to my stomach. But the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide. Well, I bet goal. Nick. I bet man. I mean that's something you'll never forget, right? Obviously it's frustrating for us to talk about you know a Miami Florida State game where we lose. But you know you made an awesome memory, right? The comeback in 2018 was wild. I Just was at Hard Rock in 2018, in Miami versus Florida State. Miami fans were leaving at halftime. He's gonna go for the home run. Like the deep ball was not there. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Everything was yards after the catch in this game. There, there was never. We couldn't throw a pass past 10 yards tonight. At the corner, Douglas fields at the 29. Sheesh! And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. The Seminoles refuse to. No, we got our punter out, out here tackling people. Out. Here they are doing the Because nobody they else can. Players on Friday at the it's not a good thing. They kind of had a look in their eye. In fact, even we can't the even win the ACC in the virtual world. Chance. Oh, I'm gonna leave that one up there, Justin. I'm gonna leave that one up there. That one stings. Down. Heck of a virtual season up to this point, but uh, ends on a, a negative note. From the 45-yard line. Heck of a run. Eleven and one, only loss being to Florida State, just to have the epic rematch at Bank of America Stadium to then only get get beat by even more the second time around. Oh, man. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. There you have it. Well, some backups got some playing time today, that's for sure. There it is. 
Florida State, 51, Miami, 22. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. I'll bet one of those is Briley or Noel Squad or Nick up in the front row screaming. Tyler, you're done. You're done. Can anybody read lips? What was Tyler saying? This is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. Fifty one to twenty two. Final score in the ACC championship game. Canes had a wild, crazy heck of a season up to this point. But it ends in absolute misery, embarrassment. Tough game. Tough game. <laughs> he was saying, I wish Coop would stop making me do this. <laughs> he said, Coop, please, not another game. Not another one. Yo, so hey, like I said, guys, real talk. Hey, real fast here before everyone hits the door. Tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern time, that will literally be the final virtual game. Now, like I said, tonight is the final virtual simulated game, CPU versus CPU. Canes ended up 11-2. and two. But tomorrow is the Coop Plays version. I was 7-5, and five, which means Gasparilla Bowl against uh, Billy and the Gators. That'll be tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I got to get eight wins. I promised in my press conference, I guaranteed a win tomorrow night in front of everyone. In the post-game presser, in front of all the people doing the interviews, ESPN, everyone, I guarantee a win t uh, tomorrow. So I, I, I have to. I have to take care of business. Uh, but tonight, let's go ahead and change the uh, the scrolling text. Kane's in the season on an L. Let's update it here. 11 and 2. Again, we don't take it past this just because the season is so close. We literally don't have time to. How many interceptions did, TV have, did, T, did TVD have? I think he had four. I'll have to double check. I don't remember what Florida's record was. I think they won six games, maybe seven. It was around the same as Miami. So it was it was six or seven. I'm wanting to say Florida won six games. But don't quote me on that. I, they were barely bowl eligible. Same as my coached virtual Miami. We were barely bowl eligible, seven wins. So I would appreciate it if people want to hang out tomorrow as well. It's a good time if you've never watched the Coop Plays version. I actually control the team, and it's super fun. We do a post-game press conference where you guys can ask me questions. I step up to the podium, and we just have a good time. And that that will literally be it. After that, no more simulations, no more video games. It's the real deal. It's the real deal after tomorrow. Beat the baby lizards. I think we can handle business. I think we can. Uh, get to play against Graham Mertz. Yep, yep. He'll be the starting quarterback. How did the game go this way? Basically, everything went Florida State's way and nothing went our way. Not a thing. Not a thing. Uh, TVD said, we suck, always have, always will. Ooh! Uh, still a good time, Coop. Thanks for taking it through uh, to the ACC Championship. I appreciate you, Forza. Real talk, man. Real talk. Again, I know I sound like a broken record, guys. And I know a lot of you get tired of me repeating myself, but just shout out to all of you. This is for you guys. Shout out to all of you guys showing up week in and week out, watching the video after it goes up, hanging out in the streams while we're live. People who liked them, disliked them, donated, became Kane's fan members, uh, gifted Kane's fan memberships. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Everybody who hung out, 
talked college football in the live chat every weekend, man. This, I told you guys, I needed this too. Like, you know, this helped the offseason go by quickly for me. I, it helped my mental game, you know, with everything, all the negativity and the bad things going on in my life. It, it helped with that because I had this to look forward to at the end of every week, hanging out with y'all. And then now, here we are. Two Fridays from now, guys, we will be kicking off real college football. The real freaking deal. And boy, oh boy, do I have some plans for you guys. We're going to have the regular stuff. We're going to have the preview video at the beginning of the week. We're going to have the call-in the night before shows. $500 score prediction contest is back. Live game day hangouts. Live while the game is going down and we react to it. Post-game reaction. Sunday night, late night real talk. Walking and venting. Diss track. And more stuff. And more stuff. I can't, I can't reveal everything. Really, really exciting plans this season, though. Really exciting plans. And I'm, I'm pumped, man. I'm so freaking excited for it. You guys have no idea. Uh, FSU fan, but I enjoy your channel. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. So I do want to give a shout out uh, to my man, Black Goatee, with the top donation of the night with the Big 20. My man, thank you for the love. Thank you guys for the gifted Canes fan memberships tonight. Everyone who re-upped, everyone who donated and showed some love. Uh, oh, yeah, final stats. Wouldn't be right if I didn't show those to you guys. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get on up out of here. <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh, <clears throat> you know what? That's actually a pretty good idea too, Robert. You know, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna take a picture of your comment. Hold on. A live walking inventing. Oh, you were saying love walking inventing. But you know how funny that would be, Robert, if I went live walking outside and we did a. We did a walking and venting with Coop live. How crazy would that be? That'd be kind of funny, actually. Because that'd be something new and different. That'd be pretty wild. Going to be a lot of walking and venting. Get some good shoes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Uh, 24 first downs for Florida State. RD was Swiss cheese. Uh, 427 total yards of offense. I know the Florida State fans are screenshotting this right now so they can compare to the real season. 13 rushes for six yards. Now, don't come in here. Here's the here's the real deal. Here, here's the reality and what is crazy. People are going to say, Coop... Or first off, it's a video game, so of course. But they're going to say, Coop, that would never happen. Uh... We we had a game last season. What was it where we rushed for? It was the Florida State game. How many yards was it we rushed for or we passed for? Hold on. Oh, it was bad. I don't even want to look at it, but it it, it was really freaking bad, man. Where is it? No, we rushed for 126 in that one. That oh, we passed for sixty-two yards. That's what it was. I know there was the issue with Jakari and and TVD trying to play and got hurt, but we we passed for sixty-two yards in the Florida State game last year. So that's why I always tell people don't come on here and say never, <laughs> because uh, anything can happen. Two hundred seventeen passing yards, two forty-five for Florida State. Again, they yards after like. Florida State really didn't have to go deep. The deep ball wasn't there for us, period. Two, 11, two of 11 on third downs, 18%. Bro, three turnovers, three picks. <sighs> Killed us in a time of possession. Like, all around, it just <sighs> destroyed. That just... <sighs> wow. Wow. It's too hot to be walking. I just sit in the AC. I love the walking and venting. If, if you guys want me to be honest with you for a second, the walking and venting is my favorite series on my channel. Walking and venting is, I get to go outside. 
I get some fresh air because I'm always locked in this studio and I love it here, but I get some fresh air outside and I get, since I'm outside, I yell, vent, you know, it's a good time. It's my favorite series. I'm trying to think if there are any other announcements. Um, honestly, not really. Other than just about me repeating myself about a bunch of stuff. I'm just really hyped and excited for all the plans we have this year. Can't wait to meet some more of you guys at the Clemson game. Uh, if you want to pop up at the Clemson game, I'll actually be tailgating with Hoodie Girl. So we'll be in the green lot. I'll be tailgating with her, and I'm going to be bringing the cardboard cutout of Mario Cristobal. So what we're going to do is we're going to do like a little contest where if you come find us in the green lot, I'll post where we're at. If you come up to us in the green lot, and take a picture with Cardboard Cutout Mario and post that on Twitter, it's going to enter you into a, a contest. So we're going to do either like a cash prize or we'll do like a Canesware gift card or something like that. So you're going to want to pull up at the tailgate for sure. And then I'll also be giving away more of these. I know you guys remember these from last year. Let me see. I'll be handing these out at the Clemson game. These are free. It won't cost you anything. The uh, Coach Coop, Cane for Life. Tropical has one. Cane for Life wristbands. All, all you got to do is is pop up, say what's up at the tailgate, take a pic with Mario, win a Cane's Wear gift card possibly, get free wristbands. Like, There's no reason to not. Like, yo, no reason to not come say what's up. Plus, you could take a pic with Hoodie Girl. It's a no-brainer. The famous Hoodie Girl. Come on now. Live tomorrow for the bowl game Coop Plays. Correct. So tomorrow will be uh, Coop Plays Miami versus the Florida Gators in the Gasparilla Bowl in Tampa. That's what's going down tomorrow. So yeah, free free wristbands at the Clemson game, y'all. Just hit me up. I do lo uh, love the look on your face during the Clemson game. I, I definitely didn't, but uh, you know. You got to break the news, tonight's news, to Hoodie Girl or just wait for her to find out. I'm going to let her find that out on her own. I'm going to let her find that out on her own. Uh, not called Twitter anymore. I refuse to call that app X. Heck no. Like, look, look, you guys on X? That sounds so stupid. Like, come on, Elon. X? Really? No, 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 no. It's Twitter. I'm sorry. It, it's not retweet. It's reposting. Come on. I know that's the official name, though. It is. This is weird, man. It's weird. But I guess that's it. I showed you guys the the leaked picture for the Miami of Ohio diss track, which I'm sure fans will be up in arms about because, you know, Coop cursed it. Oh, my goodness, we're losing. <laughs> right? Right? And then there are going to be the people that if I, if we do win, which we should, but if we do win the Miami of Ohio game and it's the one I did the diss track for, you know I won't get any credit because then what they'll say is, why didn't you diss a good team then? You can't win when you're doing this. I'm telling y'all. There's always, there's always a group, man. So then they'll be like, well, why didn't you diss A&M again? Why didn't you diss Florida State? I'm trying to diss a team that I think we can possibly beat. All right, I'm tired of dissing the A&Ms and the, the, the Gators and, and the LSUs and the Florida States. Like I, got, I, I had to quit picking these big primetime games against these huge opponents because that's costing me, you know? The team ain't been stepping up in these big-time games, and those are the teams that I keep dissing. But I, real talk, though, real talk for just a second. I think that the Miami Ohio set up for a really good diss track because it's the battle of the Miamis. Think about it. It's you know, who's the real Miami, you know? So it really kind of set itself up perfectly for a diss track. I consider doing uh Texas A&M part two, but I, I, I really don't know how I feel about that game. You know, definitely wasn't going to diss Florida state this year. So Miami of Ohio made sense. You know, it's 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 the the perfect setup for a diss track as long as we win it. You know, if we lose it, then maybe not so much. 
There were a few Don't Be a Fan Later shirts at Kane's Fest. If you know, you know, right? Exclusive club. That's right, man. It's coming back this year. What about Temple? They dissed you. Uh, you're right. You're right. I got something special planned for Temple. Probably not a diss track, though, because those require a lot of work. I, to be honest with you guys, the entire process for the Miami of Ohio diss track was about a three to four week project. Between, I don't like making music. I actually hate it. If I'm being honest with you guys, I can't stand making music. But I love making music videos. So for me, it's worth it to go through the pain of trying to write the diss track because I write it myself. I do the vocals. You know, you got to mix and master it and add these effects and try to auto tune it and spruce it up. I just enjoy doing music videos. I wish people would write the diss tracks for me and they would sing them and then I could just be in the video. <laughs> That's what I'd prefer to do, <laughs> but it doesn't quite work like that. So yeah, I really don't like, I don't like them. I just like doing the music videos and I think the music video turned out pretty sick. I, th I think it's a pretty cool one, but it'd be nice if Miami can actually win Miami hurricanes that is. And you know, that way all the haters that you want to throw shade at me can be like, Oh, we won. We won a game that Coop did a diss track for. Oh my goodness. But those people will come up with something else. So we're not worried about it. I might, I thought, I'll be honest, it crossed my mind to diss every team this year. <laughs> and I was like, no, that's too much work. Uh-uh, uh that, that would require, it, it'd be too much time. We'd have to like cut videos out and streams and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And that's my thing, Nick. I'm going into the Miami of Ohio game pretty confident, even though we don't know what to expect. The reality is Canes fans are excited, but you know all of this stuff is on paper and we've only played ourselves. So I do expect when we, we go into that Miami of Ohio game to see some, some speed bumps. You know what I mean? Like it's probably, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, Miami of Ohio is not that good of a football team. That's just facts. I'm being real. But they're also not Bethune-Cookman. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think we hang 70 on Miami of Ohio. So it's going to be it's gonna be interesting. Well, we can't be thinking ahead to that Texas A&M rematch because we got to take care of business week one on a Friday against Miami of Ohio first. So I, I'm anticipating us coming out maybe looking a little off. And who knows? We, we don't. None of us know. Literally, none of us know, guys. All we see are practice clips and coaches saying, this guy's fast and this guy's got hands. But are they really going to step up to the podium and be like, guys, it's looking like we're going 7-5 and five again this year because the O-line's just not really getting it together. Uh, Tyler Van Dyke seems a little off. Of course they're not going to do that. They're going to coach talk. And uh, as they should. Because you're, you don't want to come up there and bash your players and be like, he sucks, he sucks, he's not real good, you know? So, it's time to see. It's time to find out. It's almost here. Coop, do you play any instruments? Unfortunately, no. And I've always wanted to. I've dinked around with, uh, wow, I just went blank. Not banjo. Ukulele. I dinked around with the ukulele for a while. I could do a couple of little small things, but nothing crazy. I am definitely not talented in the music and instrument department. I rap a little bit in auto-tune, and that's about the extent of it, Tropical. That's it. If both Miamis play, does that mean Miami loses technically? Correct, yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to see it, Duck. I think it's good, man. I think it's good. Uh, speaking of guys having hands, how is your O-line coach doing? Do they just roll him around the IPF? You talking about Mirabal? Mirabal and I, here's what's crazy, guys. I'm pretty sure Mirabal is five foot six. Is he not? Hold on. I need to get a pic of me with Mirabal. No, I am taller than Mirabal. Mirabal is around five four or five five. I am five six. So I'm about an inch taller than him. So I finally found someone that's even smaller than me. Wow. Okay. But honestly, I love that. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, the, it, it's the shortest dude out there on the field coaching up the offensive line. We got guys in there 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", 300 plus pounds. 
And then you got a 105 pound, five foot four Alex Mirabal walking in there and he's like, listen up, get it together. I like that. You know, fire, you know, fiery little dude. That's okay. You know, he, he knows the techniques. He knows how to coach after the leg removal. I like Mirabal a lot, actually. I do. But you guys will find out how I'm really feeling about the season before it kicks off tomorrow in my my final official season prediction that I'm going to post. And, and again, it'll change week to week as we start to see how the team progresses and what we actually look like. The A&M game, as we already know, will tell us a lot. Uh, if we win that game, that could change my outlook potentially for the rest of the season. I still don't think we can hang with teams like Clemson. We're not there yet. We're too far behind. But there are some of these games that I give us toss-up losses, games we shouldn't lose but probably still do, like maybe you know North Carolina or a slip-up against NC State or Louisville or both. And if we beat Texas A&M, especially if it was by a, large, a larger margin, it might kind of change my outlook on the season a bit. That's why I tell people to not give people too much of a hard time with their full season predictions because that's not fair. Like, think about it. Somebody predicts what the season is going to be like before even seeing the play, the team play a single snap. So then the question is, well, why even do it? I do it because it's fun to look back and see how close I was. You know? Just watching practice clips, getting a feel for the team, what we think, lay it all out on the line for the whole season, and then we'll go week by week, game by game, and we'll do our preview videos with the actual predictions for each one. And then we'll compare the two. That's what I like to do. Yeah, no more MTSU. Right, 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 right. All right, y'all. I'm going to wrap it up because I have to start editing that video or finish editing that video. I'm only about a fourth of the way through. Then we might go get tatted up tomorrow. We'll see. And then we'll do the stream tomorrow night. So tomorrow is a pretty big day. I appreciate you guys again. Black Goatee, appreciate the love, man. Top dono of the night. I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Come on, show up loud and proud. Tell a Gator fan. Let me bring in some new Gator fans so they can check it out. Watch watch me beat them down in the Gasparilla Bowl. Oh, yeah. You know how we do. Come on. Come on. I can, Bryce. Oh, it's right there. Another day down. Another day closer. I know the energy's low, bro. Listen. Trust. I know. I know the energy is low. But the real season is almost here. Don't do me dirty. Don't, don't be like that. Yo. Come on. Can the OGs do something for me? They know what to do. They'll lead the way. Everyone else just fall in line. I even need to see the Florida State fans do it. Tonight, con you, congratulations on the ACC championship game. You guys are victorious. Conference champs. But now you all got to participate. Give me a big... Love you guys. Be safe.